is Penny from Kid Vision Pre-K, and we're here to spend a day with a dance instructor. Hello, Ms. Penny. It's so nice to be here with you today. My name is Stavi Kabarakis. I teach ballet at Dancers Gallery in Cooper City. How did you start dancing? I started dancing in a neighborhood school that my mom took me to. I was very inspired by the teacher, and I think about seven years old, I said to myself, I want to be a ballerina. My parents took me to School of American Ballet where I auditioned, so I trained there for seven years. There was no thought about it. I was going to be a ballerina. And eventually I worked professionally. I was invited to Greece where I became a prima ballerina with the Greek National Opera. What's a prima ballerina? A prima ballerina is the lead role. Oh, that's very exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of ballet? Ballet originated in the Italian Renaissance courts, eventually influenced France, where King Louis XIV, he loved to dance, and he created the first professional ballet company, which is now known as the Paris Opera Ballet. And then the influence went into Russia with the Ballet Russe and so forth. It's had a long, brilliant history. Yes. What classes do you teach at Dancers Gallery? I teach the classical ballet, and I teach children all levels, starting from five years old to 18. What happens during a typical ballet class for a younger age group? We emphasize technique, which builds strength, posture, and uh, flexibility, even musicality. Technique is very important, and we do it even as a professional. Every day, we do a technique class. We start off at the bar, helping our balance. Eventually, we move into the center, where the steps become more elaborate, but we start from a very foundation principle. So everyone learns the same foundation and you build from there. Yes, yes. Technique is very important. That's why ballet is considered the foundation of all dance, because it's the most disciplined. I can see that. What is choreography? Choreography is a sequence of movements that are put into form. Well, that sounds exciting and excellent, and I would love to learn some ballet. Would you teach me something today? Of course, Penny. We can do a little choreography. Great. Ballet is the most demanding and disciplined dance form because of the technique. So technique is the foundational principles of body movement where the body alignment and the placement have to be correct as well as the on or which is the turn out. Technique is also the conditioning of muscles and muscle memory. It's a process of repetition of body movement which causes body awareness. Mm -hmm. So good technique is very important because it ensures the dancer to have longevity as well as preventing injuries. It builds flexibility and strength. So we will start with the most basic step in ballet, and that's the plie. So you bend your knees, plie means to bend, and then you stretch. So what happens is you rotate. You rotate the legs out and back up again. So here is where technique is important because we do the alignment of the knee over the toes, which protects our knees. So the plie, it builds strength and conditions the muscles and it's our landing. <laughs> so we work a lot of plies to keep that balance. So we plie and we straighten. This is the most basic step. Another step is the tendu, which means straight. We tendu out, we tendu in. Now you see how I use my arms. It's called the port de bras, movement of the arms. We coordinate the arms with the legs, with the head, with the shoulders, the epaulement. So it's multitasking. Another basic step is the sur le demi-point, which is a relevé, we also call it relevé. It's where we push up to the balls of the feet and back down again. That's a relevé. It's done with straight knees, always. And let's do one more, a sauté, which is a jump. So to jump, we will never jump with straight knees because that's just gonna traumatize our knees. So we start with our plié, our landing. From the landing, we push and land back again to plie. Beautiful! 
<laughs> now, did you see how you fell forward? Yes. Okay. That's because there's an imbalance. We use the turn out to balance. Knees over toes, and that's how you balance. And the body alignment is very important. We call it a plumb line. It's an imaginary line that goes through the body, and this keeps you centered. So this way you don't fall, and then you pull up and you're on balance. Thank you so much, Stavi, for teaching us so much about ballet. And I want to thank Dancers Gallery for giving us the whole day to spend with a dance instructor. Thank you, Penny. The pleasure was all mine. I hope to meet again. I hope so, too.